Well, hello, pray and share warriors. I am about four minutes late. I had to go make me some coffee. I just, I got so sleepy this afternoon. I got really hot today, which I'm really not looking forward to this hot. It is so humid outside too. I think it's more than the heat, it's the humidity. And oh, it was hot today. But we got our campers and our adults off to camp today. Five adults and I counted 14 kids um, in the picture that we took. So that's a good, that's a good group. And adults are gonna switch in and out because it's kind of just kind of hard for us to take four days off. Although a few of them are gonna take four days off. Anyway, my day is Sunday but I will be putting together a slideshow too. So I'll be gathering pictures from camp. So I hope you had an awesome day today, except for the heat. I really had an awesome day uh, praying over those students and um, getting them off to camp. Of course, our youth minister and um, Others that are going, they are doing more of the load of work than I am, but I was glad to go do what I did, and then I stayed and I did some other things at the church too. So that was good. That's something I don't have to do next week. So anyway, tonight I want to talk to you about Every Praise is to Our God. And so I shared that song this morning because I love that song and it just wow when I heard that song when I saw the praise and I saw the video I thought man this puts me in such a good mood and so I've been in a pretty good mood all day because that's how I started my day when you start your day with praise and worship to a holy God that has created you and everything you see Wow, you can't have a better day. You just can't. Okay. Being out in the wind today, though, I got some kind of allergy thing going on. So, maybe I won't sneeze. I don't know. I did while ago. And, uh... It's not too terribly hot. I didn't want it real hot. I just needed the caffeine. And I probably won't sleep tonight, but I can sleep in tomorrow. It's no big deal. All right, let's start out with some prayer. God, we just come to you, and we are so thankful, God, for all the many things that you have done for us, that you are in control, God, and that you are on your throne, and that there is nothing that is hidden from you. There is nothing that you don't know, God. You know all details. You know all solutions. You know all outcomes, God. You know where everyone is. You know how many hairs we have on our head, God. It amazes me how you can keep up with everyone. Thank you for being our creator, our sustainer, our protector, our provider. Thank you for being our shelter in the storm and our strength and our refuge, God. God, you're magnificent and powerful and mighty. And God, you are the righteous judge that will judge all unrighteousness. But God, you are loving and kind and compassionate and faithful and trustworthy, God. And you want none to perish, God. You want none to perish. You sent Jesus because of a tremendous love that you have for every one of us, God. All are invited into your kingdom. No one is excluded. God, we just thank you for loving us and calling us as your children. We love you with our whole heart, our soul, our mind, and our strength. And God, we just pray that you would open the eyes and the ears of the lost to the truth, God. That you would open their hearts, that you would soften their hearts, God. That you would allow the Holy Spirit to draw them to Jesus. God, we just pray. We just pray, God, that um, the prodigals would see where they are and return to you and repent, God. 
and have their relationship reconciled. God, we pray for all the disasters that are going on. God, we just pray that these people's needs will be met. We pray for every student, our students, and every student that is at camp right now, God. We just pray that the Holy Spirit will move across the camp, God, and that he will draw the ones that need to be saved, God, that they will be drawn to Jesus and be saved during this camp. Um, God, we just pray that their eyes and their ears would be open to truth and that their hearts would be open. And God, we just pray for all the people that are putting on the camp. We just pray, God, for your guidance and your wisdom for success in the plan and purpose that you have for this camp, God. And we pray for all of our leaders and we pray for all the leaders out there, God. We just pray that you would just help them to open their hearts and minds to what you want to teach them to because, God, we are still learning. We are always learning, God. We will always be learning. And, God, that you would just keep everyone safe out there that it would be a very, very awesome experience for each and every student, leader, and people leading the camp, God, that it would just be, it would just be great. Some of our campers, it's their first time, God, I just pray that this would be a great experience for them. Pray for people that have lost loved ones, God. We've had many people in the community of Walnut Springs and Glen Rose and all other communities too, God, that have lost people. They have passed on, God, many of them into your glory. And we just pray that you would give these families peace, comfort, and strength, God. And in Jesus' name we pray, amen. All right, well, pray and share, warriors. I am so excited to be here. I'm going to be honest with you, I did not want to do this tonight, but the nights that I really push through, and I do it anyway, whether I really want to be here or not, those are the nights that God blesses me the most, because He wants us to persist. He wants us to persevere through the plan and purpose that He has for us. He wants us to succeed for his glory, not for us, not to say, oh, we're so successful because I am not. But we need to succeed for his glory to further his kingdom. So I'm now that I'm here and I'm sat in front of the computer, I am happy to be here. And so I hope you are too. And so we are going to begin with what I shared on Facebook this morning. I wish I could share these songs with y'all. So when you get through listening to me, go listen to the songs because these are awesome songs. All right, I'm going to read this. I love this song, message, and video. My soul longs for praise like this. This is such awesome praise can only imagine what praise and worship will be like in heaven, but I see it being the most uninhibited worship ever. Do you ever feel like you just want to raise your hands, but you're just thinking, oh, what are people going to think? I mean, sometimes I don't care. But I long, my soul longs for worship where <laughs> I can raise my hands up is why I like Christian concerts because I don't feel inhibited and the inhibition is probably in my mind because of how I was raised um, but anyway I believe this is why I love to go to Christian concerts I am free to sing loud and off key with thousands of my kingdom family in one accord uninhibited by church walls and denominations God cares about our hearts when we worship and not whether we are perfectly on key or in perfect rhythm. He doesn't really care about stuff like that. The things that we care about here, he does not care about. He wants worship that comes from our hearts. He wants worship that expresses our thankfulness and gratitude. He wants worship that puts the focus back on him, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit. He wants our worship worship 
<laughs> I learned that in choir. Worship sounds better than worship. <laughs> so worship. Uh, I think of Miss Ann. I miss Miss Ann and I miss choir too. Okay. Um, he wants our worship to express our deep love and devotion to him. If our hearts are right in worship, it makes him smile. Can you imagine how beautiful kingdom family worship will be in heaven? We can only imagine, but I believe it will be more like this video than not. I do. I believe that we are not going to be standing still in one spot. I believe we are going to be worshiping and dancing at the same time. King David did. I believe we will be too. Um... All nations and tongues together offering praise and worship before a holy God. Every praise is to our God in one accord. Praise God and hallelujah. This song will make you want to worship. Come just as you are. Admit that you are a sinner. Ask for forgiveness. Believe that Jesus is God's one and only Son that came to save the world through his death, burial, and resurrection. Confess Jesus is your Savior and Lord of your life. Invite him into your heart. Isaiah 43, 18, 19. Leave the old, receive the new. That's what that verse is about. Is not worrying about the old. That God is, behold. He says, behold, I'm doing a new thing. I love that verse. It's, it's my focal verse this year. I'm going to start reading it to y'all every every night, I think, unless I forget. Okay, let's move on to some scripture. My hair is a disaster because the wind was blowing today and it was hot and my hair ended up in a ponytail. I'm going to start reading this. I'm going to read this first. Isaiah 43... I want to memorize it. I didn't do too good at memorizing the one last year. Remember ye not the former things, neither consider the things of old. He wants us to put our past behind us. Behold, behold, which means pay attention. I'm fixing to say something important. Behold, I will do a new thing. Now it shall spring forth shall you not know it he is doing some new things in my life and i do know it i feel it i feel the um the transition into different assignments and the thinking that i am inadequate and i am inadequate on my own but through the power of god and through the power of Jesus and the Holy Spirit, we can do all things. Uh, shall you not know it? I will even make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. So to me that says, I will even do miraculous things. Make a way in the wilderness. You know, if we're wandering in the wilderness, he's going to make a way in rivers in the desert. If we're in a dry spot, he's going to bring the water of life. Isn't that so awesome? I love this scripture. Okay, well, let's move on to some Psalms. Because Psalms is a lot of praise. As a matter of fact, I probably don't even need this piece of paper. I can just open Psalms and start reading. The first parts are all about praising God. Um... Okay, this one says, Praise God's goodness. It's Psalms 32. Blessed is he whose transgression is forgiven, whose sin is covered. Blessed is the man unto whom the Lord imputeth not iniquity, and in whose spirit there is no guile. When I kept silence, my bones waxed old through my roaring all the day long. 
For day and night thy hand was heavy upon me. My moisture is turned into the drought of summer, Selah. I acknowledge my sin unto thee, and mine iniquity have I not hid. I said, I will confess my transgressions unto the Lord, and thou forgavest the iniquity of my sin. For this shall every one that is godly pray unto thee in a time when thou mayest be found. Surely in the floods of great waters they shall not come nigh unto him. Thou art my hiding place. Thou shalt preserve me from trouble. Thou shalt compass me about with songs of deliverance, Selah. I will instruct thee and teach thee in the way which thou shalt go. I will guide thee with mine eye. Be ye not as the horse or as the mule, which have no understanding, whose mouth must be held in with bit and bridle lest they come near unto thee. Many sorrows shall be to the wicked, but he that trusteth in the Lord, mercy shall compass him about. Be glad in the Lord, and rejoice, ye righteous, and shout for joy, all ye that are upright in heart. Rejoice in the Lord, O ye righteous, for praise is comely for the upright. Praise the Lord with harp. This is Psalm 33. Praise the Lord with harp. Sing unto him with a psaltery and an instrument of ten strings. Sing unto him a new song. Play skillfully with a loud noise. For the Lord, for the word of the Lord is right, and all his works are done in truth. He loveth righteousness and judgment. The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. By the word of the Lord were the heavens made and all the host of them by the breath of his mouth. He gathereth the waters of the sea together as a heap. He layeth up in depth in storehouses. Let all the earth fear the Lord. Let all the inhabitants of the world stand in awe of him. For he spake, and it was done. He commanded, and it stood fast. The Lord bringeth the counsel of the heathen to naught, He maketh the devices of the people of none effect. All right, and that's that's about all of the praise on that one. Let's find some more. Um, Oh, I like Psalm 100. It is one of my favorites. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Know ye that the Lord, he is God. It it is he that hath made us, and not we ourselves. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name for the Lord is good his mercy is everlasting and his truth endureth to all generations it does his truth if people will seek his truth it does go to all it endureth it has endured it has endured since Genesis all the way through Revelation all the way through today it has endured let's see if we can find some more about praise um let's see psalm 109 109 30 I will greatly praise the Lord with my mouth, yea, I will praise him among the multitude. For he shall stand at the right hand of the poor to save him from those that condemn his soul. Let's see what else we can find. Let's do another one. Psalm 148, 1. We'll just read 148, 149, and 50 because they're all about praising the Lord. 
Praise ye the Lord, praise ye the Lord from the heavens, praise him in the heights, praise ye him, all his angels, praise ye him, all his hosts. Okay, this is like heavenly praise. Praise ye him, sun and moon. Praise him, all ye stars of light. Praise him, ye heavens of heavens, and ye waters that be above the heavens. Let them praise the Lord of the Lord, for he commanded, and they were created. <clears throat> he hath also established them forever and ever. I'm sorry, I might should have gotten me water. Mm. That's really hot. It's not cooling off. Okay. Let them praise the name of the Lord, for he commanded and they were created. He hath also established them forever and ever. He hath made a dec decree which shall not pass. Praise the Lord from the earth, ye dragons in all deeps, fire and hail, snow and vapors, stormy wind fulfilling his word, mountains and all hills, fruitful trees and all cedars, beasts and all cattle, creeping things and flying fowl, kings of the earth and all the people, princes and all judges of the earth, both young men and maidens, old men and children. Let them praise the name of the Lord, for his name alone is excellent. His glory is above the earth and heaven. He also exalteth the horn of his people, the praise of all his saints, even of the children of Israel, a people near unto him. Praise ye the Lord. Wow, if that doesn't make you want to praise the Lord, I don't know what would. That is so good. I, Psalm is just Psalms. It's just one of my favorite books to read. If I'm having a bad day, sometimes I'll go to Psalms and just start reading. Praise ye the Lord, sing unto the Lord a new song in his praise in the congregation of saints. Let Israel rejoice in him that made him. Let the children of Zion be joyful in their king. Let them praise his name in the dance. Let them sing praises unto him with the timbrel and harp. For the Lord taketh pleasure in his people, and he will beautify the meek with salvation. Let the saints be joyful in glory. Let them sing aloud upon their beds. Let the high praises of God be in their mouth, and a two-edged sword in their hand. To execute vengeance upon the heathen and punishments upon the people. To bind their kings with chains and their nobles with fetters of iron. To execute upon them the judgment written. This honor have all his saints. Praise ye the Lord. Praise ye the Lord. Praise God in his sanctuary. Praise him in the firmament of his power. Praise him for his mighty acts. Praise him according to his excellent greatness. Praise him with the praise of the trumpet. Praise him with the psaltery and harp. Praise him with the timbrel and dance. Praise him with stringed instruments and organs. Praise him upon the loud cymbals. Praise him upon the high sounding cymbals. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Praise ye the Lord. Whew. That's just, ah, that was so good. So good, and he deserves every bit of the praise. Every praise to our God. I can't think of the other lyrics. Now, something in one accord. We will all be in one accord. Now, let's read Revelation worship. Because I know there's some in here. I didn't think ahead of time to look this up. We read about the marriage of the Lamb the other day. I don't know whether you've read Revelation or not, but I really do think that everybody needs to read it. All right. Maybe it's closer to the beginning. Okay. 
Okay. Here's part of it. That's when they were opening the seals. Wow, I have all kinds of... I don't know if you can see it, but I have all kinds of... I don't even write in my Bible. I have all kinds of notes written in my Bible. It's in pencil <laughs> in Revelation because I've really studied it a lot. And I'm not going to say I'm a, a Revelation scholar because I'm not. But I have... I've probably read it maybe more than any of the other books because a lot of times I read it out of panic. I would go, oh, there's the Gulf War going on. We're fixing, Jesus is fixing to come back. So I would read Revelation and see what would line up with it. Well, there's a lot that lines up with it right now. But let's, let's move on to this worship that's going to be so awesome. Okay, Revelation 5, um, 8, and when he had taken the book, wow, I can only imagine his playing right now, that, that is not a coincidence at all, <laughs> that is not a coincidence. Oh my, and when he had taken the book, the four beasts and twenty-four elders fell down before the Lamb, having every one of them harps and golden vials full of odors, which are the prayers of saints. And they sung a new song, saying, Thou art worthy to take the book and to open the seals thereof, for thou wast slain and hast redeemed us to God by thy blood out of every kindred and tongue and people and nation and it has made us unto our God kings and priests and we shall reign on the earth and I beheld and I heard the voice of many angels round about the throne and the beasts and the elders and the number of them was ten thousand times ten thousand and thousands of thousands I believe that's us I think that's us saying with a loud voice, that's us, that's our worship. Worthy is the Lamb that was slain to receive power and riches and wisdom and strength and honor and glory and blessing in every creature which is in heaven and on the earth and under the earth and such as are in the sea and all that are in them heard us saying, Blessing and honor and glory and power. Be unto him that sitteth upon the throne, and unto the Lamb for ever and ever. And the four beasts said, Amen. And the twenty-four elders fell down and worshipped him that lived for ever and ever. So this is before Jesus opens the scrolls. Which the scrolls are the scrolls are judgment. God's judgment on the earth for unrighteousness. See, God doesn't want anyone to perish. But because people are stubborn and don't want to give up the things that they think are pleasure to them, which is really bondage, they will perish. They will. Unless they repent unless they accept Jesus. Jesus is the only way. He is the only way to heaven. There is absolutely no other way. So if you want to be present for this, I so want to be present for this. All this praise has just made my soul long for that heavenly praise in heaven. So I think that's all I want to read here. And I think farther in Revelation, there's more about praise also. And maybe towards the end too. But that was a good spot right there to read about. Is that everybody praising. Everybody praising. Alright. 
let's do a salvation message. Would you like to do a salvation message? I want to show you what I did for my son. I did him like a routine with pictures. But I think I'm going to separate it all. I worked on that the other day. Let's see how we can share the gospel. I like this one right here. Between you and God. Between you and God. I think the other one I've been using. Somebody colored it with a pencil. That one's not colored. Oh, yeah it is. <laughs> it is colored on the inside. That's so funny. Okay. All right. So the problem with sin is that it separates us from God because God is holy. God is holy. So sin separates us from God. Okay. So the light on the right represents God. God is perfect, holy, and loving and has provided a way for salvation. In contrast, the man in darkness represents man in his sin, separated from God. Sin is more than wrong thoughts or actions, but a heart that is inclined towards evil. Jeremiah 17, 9. The Bible says, All have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. Romans 3:23. Apart from God's grace, man is without hope. So the next one is Jesus on the cross. I can't. I can't get it all the way on both cameras. I don't know why I haven't figured it out, but I, ha I can't. The cross is a picture of God's grace. Oh, my fan's not plugged in. Coffee's making me sweat a little bit. After today, I don't want to sweat. The cross is a picture of God's grace. God sent his own son, Jesus, to earth as a man. Jesus died on the cross for us so that he might take away our sins. 1 John 3, 5. The Bible says God demonstrates his own love for us. In this, while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Romans 5, 8. Jesus took away our sin in his own body on the cross so that he could bring us to God. Uh, 1 Peter 2, 24 and 1 Peter 3, 18. The Bible says, God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that whosoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. John 3.16 I read John 3.16 with my girls last night in small group at youth, and we broke it down. We broke it down. What it meant. Actually, we, we read 16 through 21. Because it talks about condemnation, and it talks about um, 20 and 21 talks about condemnation that if we don't accept Jesus we are condemned alright so there is nothing we can do on our own to pay the penalty for our sin there is nothing we can do we cannot cleanse our sin if we could then God would not have sent his son to die for us only the blood of Jesus can wash away our sin. That is so true. Okay, so then we have these three, these next three pictures. Wait a minute. Okay. After Jesus died, men buried him in a tomb, sealed with a huge stone and guarded by soldiers. Jesus is risen. Three days later, God raised Jesus from the dead, declaring that he truly is the Son of God and that God was satisfied with his payment for sin. Jesus then appeared to many people before returning to his Father in heaven. 
Jesus is the way. The only way we can come to God is through faith in Jesus Christ. Only Jesus has paid the penalty God demands for our sin. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me, John 14, 6. But just knowing these facts does not ensure salvation. We must respond to God's grace by trusting in Jesus Christ alone as the only one who can forgive our sin and give us God's gift of eternal life. Okay, let's see where we are now. Okay, so this is the next part. Trust only in Jesus. The penalty for sin is eternal separation from God. But Jesus offers the free gift of eternal life with God. We need to accept this gift God offers. The way we demonstrate our faith in Jesus Christ is by trusting in Him alone for complete payment of our sin. The Bible says that our sin is removed through faith in Jesus Christ to all who believe. Romans 3.22 Are you trusting in Jesus for your salvation? You can. The Bible says if you confess with your mouth Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. Romans 10, 9. If you are trusting in Christ for your salvation, tell God by praying something like this. Dear God, I'm going to leave a space if you want to pray this. Dear God, thank you for loving me. I confess that I have sinned against you. I believe that your son Jesus died on a cross to pay for my sin and that you raised him from the dead. I trust Jesus alone to forgive me and take away all of my sins. I confess that Jesus is my Lord and Savior. Thank you for your gift of eternal life. I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, so remember it is not the words of a prayer that save you. God saves you when you respond in faith to His grace. If you trusted in Christ today, Jesus promises you in John 10, 27, 28. My sheep listen to my voice. I know them and they follow me. I will give them eternal life and they shall never perish. No one can snatch them out of my hand. Okay, where are we now? Okay, so this is the back and these emblems. These emblems are your Christianity journey and your growth. This is your growth as you're a Christian. So because you were saved by the precious blood of Christ, you should follow God and learn to please Him. Here are some of His requirements for you to grow spiritually. So this isn't like you can't be saved if you don't do this. You're already saved. If you said that prayer, you're already saved. But these are ways to have a better, closer relationship with God, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit. So the heart is, you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, mind. This is the great and foremost commandment. And a second is like it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. Matthew 22, 36 through 40. And then the next one is prayer. Pray. We need to pray. Oh, sorry. That one didn't, you couldn't see it. Okay. 
Pray to God constantly. Be anxious for nothing. But in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your, requ your requests be known to God. Oh, excuse me. The next one is the Bible. Study the Bible. God's Word daily. Start with the Gospel of John. Read one chapter each day. Like newborn babes, long for the pure milk of the word, that by it you may grow in respect to salvation. 1 Peter 2.2 2. And then the next one is going to be like the, the handshakes, the fellowship. Meet regularly with other Christians, not forsaking your own assembling together, as in the habit of some, but encouraging one another. Hebrews 10.25 And then the last one, the world with the cross. Tell other people about Jesus. And he, Jesus, said to them, Go into all the world and preach the gospel to all creation. Mark sixteen fifteen. So if you did say this prayer, then welcome to the kingdom family of God. The angels are now rejoicing. And your name is being written in the Lamb's Book of Life. So it is time for me to give you God's blessing. I can't believe it's already this time, but it is. Done everything that God called me to do. Oh, I haven't read. I didn't read my. I didn't read my notes from today. Let me see if I can just hit the highlights. I need another notebook. I'm running out of paper. I'm like straddled into two places here. Okay. Okay. Okay, so he said, he said, I, he said, um, I hate to start at the beginning, but he told me that today was a new day for me to pour into yo the younger generation by service to him, and I did that today. Um, your encounter, my encounter the other day was to plant seeds, child. Do not get, get discouraged. This is your core group. So keep encouraging them, child. So I know what he's talking about. I said, thank you, God, for a new day of mercies and blessings, new opportunities to share your truths in the gospel of Jesus. Thank you for a new day to pour into this younger generation by service to you. I will always be willing to be in your service, God. And he said, the worship made me smile. And it was last night. I see the immaturity of some. But the lyrics touch their hearts on a one-on-one -on -one level. They are touched by what the Holy Spirit chooses. Teaching them to be leaders is very important, so be instrumental in this new transition to come. Be part of the team, but not the leader. Time to transition out of the position, child. And I said, okay, God, you know I will be praising anyway, and I think maybe I want to be free to be the example of praise. Maybe encourage them to focus, which is hard to do at the front, and focus on the music too. Their hearts will be right after camp to learn a new way. It will be good for them to have new leaders, and you will be blessed for your decreased child. I have other assignments for you, greater assignments in other areas of youth. Child, this is the generation that I have called you to. Be diligent in your calling, child. The rewards outweigh the being uncomfortable. I smiled when your group read scripture yesterday. You put in place my idea to get them to read my word. I will give you a special scripture every week. I said, thank you, God, for meeting me today. I love you with my whole heart, soul, mind, and strength. And then my notes are, the rest of my notes are over here. I gotta find them. And I said, give my mama and daddy a 
a hug, God. He said, I love you too, my child. Uh, through Jesus, you have the strength to endure and do much for my kingdom. Be grateful and thankful in all that you are called to do, child. The reunion is soon, so be ready, child. Be prepared for hard times that are coming and be ready to go with Jesus. The land here is perfectly beautiful and all is perfect peace, love, and joy beyond measure. And I said, Maranatha, God. All right, so now I'm going to give you God's blessing. So Numbers 6, 24 through 26. The Lord bless thee and keep thee. The Lord make his face shine upon thee and be gracious unto thee. The Lord lift up his countenance upon thee and give thee peace. Wow, we can use a lot of peace. God will bring us peace. There, There is peace here. We have peace here, but we will have perfect peace in heaven. It will not be interrupted with anything. We will have perfect worship. It will not be interrupted by anything. Okay, so let's go ahead and pray. I have a couple of unspoken requests that I'm going to throw in. God, we just come to you and we just thank you, God. We thank you that we can praise you. You are worthy of all of our glory, honor, and praise, God. Only you Thank you, God, that uh, you love us, God. Thank you that you love people that don't even love you, God. You love people that hate you, and you love people that don't even believe in you, God. Your love is the same for them. And God, all are invited into your kingdom. None are excluded, God. And people just really don't understand that, and they think they have to clean their life up to come to Jesus, but they don't. That is Jesus' job, to change the desires of the heart. God, we just pray. I pray for my unspoken requests, God. You know, you know them so well. You know every detail. You know every solution. You know every outcome, God. So I just trust you with these unspoken requests. I know that you will attend to them according to your will and your way, God. I just pray for protection for our youth as they are uh, enjoying camp, God. And I just pray that their hearts would be open to whatever message you want delivered to them, God. I pray that they will be open to the new style of camp where they go and they meet other groups and spend time with other groups God I pray that they would be open to this um, we didn't have that last year I pray that they would be open to it this year just pray God that um, you would just be with them be with the leaders God we just pray for uh, we pray for the Holy Spirit to move out there in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Oh, hey, my friend Josie. How are you doing? I'm drinking coffee and I probably won't get any sleep tonight. But it sure is good. <laughs> sure is good. I hope you had an awesome day today. We got all the kids to camp today. I didn't, but I helped I helped get them <laughs> ready to go. I didn't take any of them. Now my day was good. It sure is hot outside. It was hot out there helping them get everything in the vans and everything. I can't imagine being at camp, but it's going to be hot. I hope they're inside more than they're outside, or in shade trees at least. At least the wind was blowing today, but it was very humid and very hot. But I'm okay now, because I'm in the AC.
how was your day? Did you work hard? Oh, he's doing good. He's in there watching TV. He might be asleep. I don't know. He got up this morning at 4. <laughs> I don't think he could breathe this morning at 4. We've been giving him too much dairy. We're going to have to cut back. But he's not hes not really sick. I just think maybe he was congested. So he got up and got on the couch and went back to sleep. But it, he had to come in and turn our light on. He's learned that little trick. To open our door and come turn our light on. Wake us up. Let's just go get on the couch and don't wake us up. <laughs> we'll find you when we wake up in the morning. So I was kind of tired, so I fixed me some coffee this afternoon. Probably won't be able to sleep tonight. Looking at my video that I have playing. That's mine. I did it. <laughs> I did it. It's my video. That's such a good song. I like that song. Alright, well, I think I'm going to get off of here. I need to go fix Seth something to eat. I was going to look and see maybe if they had dropped some pictures from camp. I told them to send me pictures on Instagram. Do you have Instagram, Josie? You don't want coffee? <laughs> you want to go to sleep? Well, I was afraid I might go to sleep on here. Because sometimes when I pray and I'm sleepy, I nearly fall asleep while I'm praying. So... Um, I thought I better, I kind of needed it. I felt, I felt kind of drained, I guess, from being in the heat. And I wasn't in it for very long. I'm kind of concerned with myself. Yeah. Oh, I like it. I like it in the afternoon, too, especially during the winter. I really like it in the afternoon with a bunch of cream and sugar in it. Oh, it's so good in the winter. Yeah, you do want to sleep. So how are y'all doing? Y'all are good. That's good. When do the boys get out of summer school? They get out next week. Sure you can. I need to get off of here anyway. So, yeah, call me if you feel like it in a few minutes. 
If you don't, that's okay too. Just know that I'm praying. Tell Mr. Mike that I'm praying every day. All right, I'll talk to you later, okay? Well, my Pray and Share Warriors, I am going to get off of here. I, uh, I need to go do some dishes. I've got dishes in my sink. I cooked dinner before I left this afternoon, and that was great, but it didn't give me time to clean up my mess, so I've got a huge mess to clean up. Okay. All right, talk to you later. All right, well, oh, I'm sorry. Excuse me. So y'all have an awesome rest of your evening and an awesome Friday. Tomorrow's Friday. And uh, much love and cyber hugs till I see you again. Good night.